In this demo, we're doing a bestsellers collection over a specific time period. Uh, in this case, last six months. And Shopify out of the box, you can do a best-selling collection, but that's gonna do best-selling all time. There's no granularity into timeframes. And that's what this workflow is all about. So we're using a meta field to store the uh, position of each product in that bestsellers last six month period, bestselling last six months index, and it's an integer. And then when you set up your collection, you want to uh, define it here with this uh, condition, meta fields, best selling six months. And when you create the uh, meta field, you want to make sure to tick that box using automated collections. And so we're going to have the condition on this be that being greater than zero. And here's what that you know, value would look like on a particular product. And so here are the workflows, two workflows. First one is going to simply save our data. Every time an order is created, we're looping over the line items and saving that line item to the data. That's going to end up looking like this. So each line item here, you've got the SKU, you've got the quantity, so we can total those up there with a query. And here is the workflow that does most of the heavy lifting. So on a, on a daily schedule, we have a couple variables defined here. That's how many days back we're looking, uh, 180 in this case. And then this is the max number of bestsellers. So top 50 bestsellers, top 100, whatever you want to do. And that's the idea of the collection that we've set up. And this is initializing the bestseller index. We're using a little Mesa internally call here. Mesa storage set that gives us a number we can keep track of. It's basically a little variable that we're going to use in the workflow. And then here's the query that is going to grab the line items. It's grouping by product ID and it's summing up the, the quantity. And then we're going to loop over those and uh, retrieve the product, increment that bestseller. So we're going to start at one and then two, three, four, et cetera. See if we've reached the max yet. If so, we're going to stop. And here's where we're setting that meta field value to whatever that index is. And then here is where we are um, setting the sort order in the collection. So the collection sort order is using manual sort order. And then that allows us to uh, set it automatically. So this is the, the graph QL for that. But we're using that same index value on, on the product to set the value there. Also, you're going to want to run a time travel on this one, that way you can run it against all the products in your catalog to get all those values into the database to run it against. Or actually, more likely you want to do last, you don't want to do last six months, right? Same time period. And when you do a test run, it'll look a little something like this when you run it. And yeah. Oh, one other a little snag is that when when this runs, when it first adds a product, when it first initializes that meta field value and then adds it to the collection, that actually doesn't happen immediately on the Shopify. The meta field value happens immediately, but Shopify has a delay on their side when they're associating the product to the collection. So when it's first added to the collection and then the um, sort order piece runs immediately after that, it won't actually take effect because the product isn't in the collection as far as Shopify knows. But it's not really that much of an issue because day to day products are going to get that value initialized and they, they might be a tiny bit off. But on a six month period, it's really something you're probably not going to even notice. But if you're testing an, a, a single run of it, you, you probably will see that and get confused that the sort order doesn't look correct. But yeah, that's it. And then as always, you can find these on the automation demo section of the blog. We've got the uh, meta field definition there. Uh, we've got the collection definition and then these two workflows you can download. So uh, let us know if you need any help setting that up.